Hey guys, what's up? Ranny here. This is going to be my updated shooting video. Hi, Sora. Ah, come here. Today we're gonna be doing. We're gonna. Be, <laughs> today we're gonna be going over a few different uh, training packs and also a workshop map called Coco's Aim Trainer. Stay tuned if you want to be one of the best shooters that you can possibly be. First, let's talk about strength and accuracy. This is a training pack made in 2016 that still holds up today when it comes to learning technique and improving consistency. There's two different setups that you're going to learn from this. Ground setups and air setups. Let's begin with air setups. This is when you have to move your car in the air to shoot the ball. Beginning with the first shot, I want you to aim to hit the ball with one of the corners of your car. I usually teach the setup first without flipping into the ball. Since without a consistent setup, there's no consistent shot. So after doing the setup like this for about 30 seconds, you'll start to flip into the ball, but not just any flip. To get the most amount of power possible, you need to flip through the ball. So the inputs usually go like this. Pull down left, flip up right, or vice versa for the other side. For long shots, you'll need to change where you strike the ball with your corner. Getting distance relies on your touch being more underneath the ball. Ground setups are going to be a little different. For shot number two, you'll be focusing on micro movements in the beginning. Just enough to line up your right corner on the left side of the ball. If you can get your setup like this, you won't have to do any additional movements in the air. You'll just have to flip through the ball with a diagonal flip. A side flip works, but you won't have as much power since you're not getting any forward momentum with your side flip. So now that you know the two different setups, let's walk through this training pack real quick. And I'll tell you which setup to do for each shot. Number three is going to be the same thing as number two, but mirrored onto the other side. It is a little bit of a wider angle, so I'd recommend doing more of a side flip diagonal flip. It still requires a micro movement to the right, jump, and diagonal flip through to the left. Number four is going to be another aerial setup. So for this one, we're not moving on the ground. We're going to go towards the ball, jump, pull down right just a little bit, and then flip diagonally to the left. Number five is going to be a ground setup. For this one, we're doing a micro movement to the left, just enough to line up our right corner. We can either hit off of the bounce, or we can wait a little bit and try to hit at the top of the bounce. Number six is just a basic front flip shot, so usually I skip it. And number seven, we're going on to the long shot. For number seven, we're doing an air setup, so no moving on the ground. We're gonna boost, jump, pull down to the left, and flip up to the right. But the thing about number seven is that it is a long shot, so we need to get more underneath the ball. The corner of your car should touch right about here, underneath the ball to the left. And then if you flip up through it, it should turn into a huge booming shot. And finally, number eight. Number eight is going to be another long shot, but this one's going to be a bit different. It's a hybrid of the two different setups. We're going to be doing a ground setup and then an air setup. So to start off, pull to the right, then jump pull down to the left and flip up to the right. If this is too hard, you can always just work on your front flip shots. That's totally fine too. Usually I skip number nine, but if you want to do it, that's all right with me. So for this one, it kind of forces you to do a front flip shot. So just make sure that you get underneath the ball since it's a long shot and then just flip through it. All right, now we're going to move on to Coco's Aim Trainer. This workshop is a staple in many players shooting training, whether they are low or high ranked. It gives you multiple challenge modes to make the shots harder. Although I don't use them, I would recommend messing around with them and checking them out because they do add quite a bit of challenge. This workshop map is flexible with the types of shots you can use to hit the targets, but we're going to be sticking to a few key shots. Diagonal corner shots that we worked on in the strength and accuracy pack and front flip punch shots. These front flip shots I'm naming punch shots because you're hitting with the front of your car and you're pushing through it as if you were taking a quick jab at the ball. Hopefully the name sticks because I haven't heard it been used anywhere else, but I also haven't heard this type of shot been called anything. This is a basic yet reliable form of shooting that's useful for situations where you don't have time to set up for a corner shot and for striking at targets that are in front of you. However, we'll be using those corner shots for hitting targets that are at a wide angle. You'll notice for these wide angled shots, I'm doing a micro movement to line up my corner on the side of the ball. That way I just have to jump and diagonal flip or side flip through and the ball will go in the general direction that I want it to. If you want to make a competition out of this map, feel free. 
I can say my record on this map is about 30 shots in a row. So if you beat it, maybe come back and leave a comment because I'm honestly pretty curious what y'all's record is going to be. Strength and accuracy and Coco's aim trainer now out of the way, that should have taught you how to have good technique for shooting. Now let's use that good technique in a training pack with moving balls to simulate real game situations better. For this, I'll be using ground shots by Paquito, but you can use the diagonal corner shots or the punch shot technique on pretty much any shooting training pack. Ground shots by Paquito is really good though because it has a very wide variety of shots. And for this section, I want to talk about how to hit rolling balls well and also talk about air roll shots. The first few shots are rolling balls. You'll notice if you flip right as you make contact on these, the height that you get on the power shot is going to be inconsistent. So for these, we're going to be flipping early right before we get to the ball to hit with the top edge of your nose. Doing so gets underneath the ball while also generating decent power. If you're a bit more mechanical, you can flip cancel to lock your car's position into place until your nose gets to the ball. Flip canceling diagonal flip shots are especially good because it can speed up your recovery since it cancels your flip while your nose is facing downwards, allowing you to boost to the ground while the flip finishes with your wheels facing the ground. So keep in mind that the front flip shot on rolling balls is going to be a little bit more consistent, but the diagonal flip shots are going to give you a better recovery. After the rolling balls, you'll start running into moving balls in the air where you'll have a little bit of time to set up the shot. For these, I'll usually flip through it with my corner utilizing an aerial setup or a ground setup that we saw in the strength and accuracy training pack. For a lot of these though, you can also use the punch shots you'll notice. So mess around with both of them. They're both decent ways to shoot and you can't go wrong with using either. Air roll shots. These are a bit tricky to talk about because a lot of people severely overuse air roll for shooting and would benefit from learning to shoot without any air roll. But regardless, air roll shooting is still super important and useful for a few things besides just looking cool. The biggest use case is for hitting tight angles and using air roll to get underneath or around the ball quickly. Also, you may find air roll shots helpful for redirects to get a more powerful hit. When you start working on air roll shots, I just want to warn you against a couple of things. One of them is adding air roll shots on shots that is not required. This creates a whole nother input that your brain has to keep up with and could potentially mess up, which is just a long winded way of saying that it makes shooting more complicated. The other thing is making sure that you don't air roll too far. Less is more when it comes to air roll shots, and it's pretty rare that you'll have to turn your car all the way sideways or more. And that's it for ground shots. Hopefully with these forms of shooting, you'll have a solid framework to work off of, and in the future, know how to train to stop missing those open nets. My name is Rainy, and I will see you in the next video.